for not just taking a leisurely stroll down Wall Street. Instead, we're strapping ourselves into the Tesla roadster of stock market analysis and hitting comedic speed. Uh, so buckle up because we have breaking news expert in analysis and predictions that are about to set your financial dashboard on fire. As experts boldly announce that the Tesla stock is going to $1,350, get ready to charge up your financial insights because we're about to delve deeply into the Tesla stock universe in this exciting video. You won't want to miss this trip since everyone is going crazy. Whether you're a seasoned Tesla investor uh, or you're just starting out on your electric journey. However, before we go any further, be sure to hit the subscribe and like buttons for daily updates. Greetings and welcome to Tesla Stock News. Let's get this video started. Uh, it's been a whirlwind of news in the world of Tesla recently, and we're here breaking up. Down for you first up, billionaire Ron Barron has declared that he and his funds hold a staggering $4.07 billion of Tesla shares. He's bullish on Tesla's future, believing that the stock could reach up to $1,350 per share in the next seven years, while he previously mentioned $1.500 for 2030. His confidence in Tesla remains incredibly high, with Morgan Stanley also upgrading Tesla stock. It seems that the sentiment around the company is becoming increasingly positive. Now onto the exciting announcement of Powerwall 3 by Tesla, the confusion between Powerwall 2 and Powerwall 3 specs has been clarified. Power Carwall 3 is 16 lighter than its predecessor, mainly due to its integrated solar inverter. Uh, boasts six solar inputs, is flood resistant up to over 2 FT, and has improved backup power by a whopping 64 next Tesla. Is offering eligible Model S and Model X owners the option to purchase upgraded higher thermal capacity brake pad kits for 1750 and red copper kits with HTC pads for $2,700. Sales of Tesla's Model I in Europe are almost three times greater than those of the second place SUV in 2023, marking a tremendous achievement for the company. Uh, a redesigned Model 3 has been cited without any camouflage, suggesting that it will soon arrive in the nation. Tesla is making waves in Australia by taking on energy utilities, and the company aims to get components worth $1.70 to $1.09 billion from India, where they have already purchased parts worth $1 billion. Similar to its successful strategy in Texas, Tesla Electric's retail electricity provider arm is poised to upend the conventional utility business model in the UK. Tesla's hiring drive in the UK makes a suggestion that like in the car business, it is determined to upend the current quo in the energy sector. One indication of Tesla's dedication to sustainable energy solutions is the company's desire to grow its energy business internationally. As we move forward at the Detroit Auto Show, Tesla is definitely there, uh, but neither the much awaited updated Model 3 nor the Cybertruck are visible. Speaking of the Cybertruck, we have a new video that demonstrates how high the suspension can lift this beast which has impressive ground clearance and is prepared to conquer a variety of trains. Uh, Little Birdie informed us that the updated Model 3 may come in, a plus version, but the specifics are still unknown. It may be similar to the standard range plus with a little bit more range. Now, let's switch to Ford. Who is jokingly mocking Tesla by revealing a refreshed 2024 F-150? Uh, in the realm of robot taxes, there's big news. According to Power Ford, you could even use this new power to assist a Tesla driver who gets lost on the side of the road. We support this strategy since it lowers risk because Tesla's specialized robot cars in the compact vehicle SUV class will share the same platform similar to how the Model 3 and Model I are interchangeable and constructed on the same manufacturing line. The story of Tesla's journey is revealed in Elon Musk's biography. Um, it's Interesting to read that Elon wasn't originally a fan of the idea of creating cars with pedals and a steering wheel, but his executives persuaded him and the rest is history. Additionally, there's an eye catching picture of Tesla suspension in action, showing one car lowered and the other raised. It's all about versatility. Now for a worrying incident that occurred in Frankfurt, Germany on September 12, 2023 at approximately three, a 20 M local time person, a uh, fire broke out in a parking lot in the Fetchenheim district. The fire quickly spread to several vehicles, including roughly 10 Tesla Model EAs. The cause of the fire is still being investigated, but an anonymous group has taken responsibility for the arson in a letter posted online. Uh, the group claimed that they targeted 
Tesla because the company is a leading representative of the capitalist system. And because it's electric vehicles are not a real solution to the climate crisis. The fire in Frankfurt is a concerning incident, but it is important to note that electric vehicle fires are rare. The fire was put out after about an hour, but by then the, the 10 Teslas had been destroyed and five other vehicles had also sustained damage. Uh, there have been about 50 Tesla car fire incidents worldwide since 2013, according to the National Fire Protection Association. This indicates that Tesla vehicles are less likely to catch fire than gas powered vehicles. It's also important to note uh, that the fire in Frankfurt was started by arson rather than a defect in Tesla's vehicles. Even though electric car fires are rare, it is still vital to be aware of the hazards and take precautions to avoid them. Tesla vehicles are equipped with a number of safety systems that are intended to prevent fires, such as a battery management system that keeps an eye out for any symptoms of overheating. Fortunately, it was found that the fire did not spread to the batteries, ruling them out as the reason. Uh, nevertheless, an anonymous letter suggests that the arson was carried out by the extremist organization Arsenal. An odd turn of events that changes direction once more. Let's discuss the U.S. auto industry's current position, which has important ramifications for Tesla, with luxury automobile sales up 23 year over year and non-luxury sales up 15. The average cost of a new car has surged to 48000 $500 at an average cost of $65,000. Full size pickup trucks are ideal for the cyber truck. As usual, Tesla is setting the bar for affordability. Cuttings remaining ahead of the curve and in exciting news, Hyundai is creating its own Giga Press, dubbed hyper casting to improve EV production and lower costs. In addition to all of that, let's recognize Elon Musk's unwavering commitment. He could have retired long ago, but he still devotes his time, resources, and energy to ventures that benefit humanity from SpaceX to Tesla to opposing censorship on social media sites like Twitter. Elon Musk is an agent of progress. However, nevertheless, we also have an intimate peek at the difficulties Tesla had during the Model 3 production hell. While official figures are debatable, Elon Musk tweeted about his early discovery of the virus in China in 2020 when Tesla employed 20,000 people and contracted with other companies. He highlighted that nobody on their team experienced significant health problems. Tesla kept a close eye on the health of its employees. It was revealed that certain family members had the virus, and although the symptoms were less severe than those under 50, there were still times when they felt uncomfortable and dyspeptic. Elon Musk himself had experienced it twice, the most concerning of which was akin to a terrible cold or flu in the ATI industry. Uh, according to Elon Musk, the entire X Twitter algorithm will soon be available for public use. He gave an explanation for the delay, saying that before going public, he and the team want to clean up the code. For the continuous improvement over the past nine months, suggests that there are some serious problems with social media algorithms. Although Elon's skill was not that of an oracle, a remarkable passage from his biography demonstrates his hands on approach to issue resolution and leave specialists pleased. Such direct involvement from a CEO is uncommon. Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates of Google are scheduled to speak at a Senate forum on artificial intelligence. There are questions about Senator Elizabeth Warren's request to look into Elon Musk, given her significant rise in wealth while serving in Congress. Adam Jonas of Morgan Stanley observes that Tesla's worth extends well beyond the production and sale of automobiles. Uh, Demonstrating the breadth of Tesla's commercial approach, there have been speculations that Tesla is looking into producing three-wheel vehicles. However, it's crucial to keep in mind Elon Musk's previous remarks when he expressed reservations about the safety of three-wheel cars that uh, make it doubtful that Tesla uh, will pursue this while he is leading the company. Uh, biography also details a meeting that happened to finish abruptly between Rudy Giuliani and Elon Musk because Giuliani and his group wanted a substantial 10 interest in the company. Elon Musk's remarks regarding the rise in advertisements on Twitter revenue implies that he may be less inclined to finance his Twitter venture by selling Tesla stock. Tesla's triumph coincides with Europe getting ready to impose stricter laws on Chinese EVs, which will affect businesses like X-Punk and Neo. In the meantime, Tesla is still very popular in Europe. It's Evidenced by the year 49 million received from a new charging fund regarding Elon Musk and the difficulties he confronts concerning the rumors going around that Elon struggles with these problems and occasionally turns into his own deadliest opponent. The interviewer asks Ron Barron about his viewpoint 
pointing out that Elon is seen as the cornerstone of the business that Baron invests in and that the largest risk is that anything would happen to him. Though he was impressed by Elon, Ron Barron notes that his faith in him and the possibility of significant returns kept him invested. Ron highlights Elon's unique qualities, such as his early experiences that shaped his resilience and fearlessness, uh, making him unafraid of a good fight. Ron looks back on his long history with Elon, dating back to their meeting in 2010. Um, he mentions how it took him four years before he started investing in Elon's companies between 2014 and 2016. Ron recounts a recent dinner with Walter and David Rubenstein, during which he was recognized as an expert on Elon. However, he refrained from speaking, understanding that it was David's show. Ron highlights Elon's remarkable recall and his capacity to take in a great deal of information, attributing these qualities to his unquenchable curiosity and goal-driven focus. Ron highlights Elon's unrestrained approach to innovation and his commitment to preserving the planet for future generations. He highlights how Elon's distinct qualities distinguish him from traditional thinkers and how his work encompasses a range of areas from space exploration to electric cars, highlighting the significance of maintaining focus on the long-term mission. Before we sign off, we have a few questions for you. What are your thoughts on Tesla's future growth prospect? As we wrap up this exciting episode of Tesla Stock News, we hope... Uh, You've enjoyed the ride as much as we have from our audacious predictions to the most recent market insights. We're here to keep you in the driver's seat of your Tesla stock journey. Thank you for joining us today and see next time. Let us know in the comments below whether you think the 11350 target will happen or if you have any predictions. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Tesla Hype.